so this is the place where some hearts are made and some hearts are broken let's see how it goes this time Yep, hi guys, so my learner's just gone out for the test and hopefully she'll be back soon. Um, let's see how it goes, hopefully she does pass. Um, she was a little bit nervous, she's had about 14 lessons with me and hopefully she does well and passes. You guys must have watched her previous videos. Uh, after the mock test I gave her, um, we did do a couple of lessons and then after that I gave her another mock test, which she didn't do well in, but let's see, hopefully she does well. Uh, before her test, obviously she had a lesson and she was a little bit nervous and her confidence was a little bit low but we did work on it and obviously um, I did uh, give her some good advice so hopefully she takes her advice on board and hopefully she does well and passes the test because mainly the test um, it is like uh, I'd say it's more than 50% mental um, if uh, sometimes you get not as good well drivers going in for the test but because the confidence is so high it takes them through because the test is only 30-35 minutes so hopefully they should be back soon So this is the place where some hearts are made and some hearts are broken. Let's see how it goes this time. Yeah, so I'll leave the camera here and then you can see him coming in the test center. It is a black Audi. Uh, yeah. A few moments later. So she's back from a test. Um, how did the test go? Um, in terms, obviously, what you need to remember is the examiner at the end does go over the faults of the test, and whatever faults you made, um, they do go over. And also, what you need to remember is whatever the result is, um, there's always good in it. Do you understand? So sometimes it might not even pass you because, um, like, with your type of driving, obviously, it's very unlikely they're about to pass you because <laughs> you've got quite bad driving. <laughs> And you got quite a lot of bad habits in your mm -hmm. driving. So, um, during your drive, um, did they test you? What did you get tested on in manoeuvres wise? Obviously, um, uh, parallel park, you were dreading it. But then after <laughs> that, we worked on the parallel park. So, I'm hope, hope, even if they, I think, even if they threw a parallel park at you, you would have smashed it. Um, pull up on the left, um, did that like 10 times. Yeah, and switched then... the car. So, sometimes they might not pass you because. Um, they don't feel you're safe on the road, do you understand? Uh, they only pass you if they feel that you could drive independently yourself and you won't cause accidents on the mm -hmm. road, do you understand? <laughs> so, um, in your test, um, uh, what manoeuvre did you get tested on? Um, reverse two car length, then pull up on the left. Pull up on the, uh, did you get the pull up on the right reverse two car length? Pull, yeah. Yeah, that's quite an easy manoeuvre, so mm -hmm. um, how did that manoeuvre go? Um, well, did it go I well? I think so, yeah. Yeah, did you carry out all your observations <laughs> yeah. and stuff? That's yeah. good. So, 
Um, other than that, did you find any of your drive where you thought you might have failed on? Yeah, um, it sat nav to go straight and then it rerouted itself to go right. Did you go to the wrong direction when it? I didn't. Right? Cause he he then went. Can you hear it? Because <laughs> it said it then said to me, um, yeah. "Go right." Um, but I was already going to go. So I just looked at my mirrors and indicated. Well done. So if you didn't check your mirrors, you could have failed yeah. in case there was someone like on that right side. Yeah. Did you switch lanes? Um, yeah, I switched lanes then, yeah. yeah. you got to check your mirrors when you switch yeah. lanes. Because it could be some... That's so, so far so good. Did you find any areas of your drive? How was the examiner, first of all? I, wanna ask, I should have asked um, that, but how was the examiner in terms of how did he approach? Was he, did he have a good approach? Like, um, he was, was he good to you? Was he rude? Was how was he? He was blunt, and then when I didn't hear the sat nav, he was yeah. quite. He was a little bit rude then. Uh, so, <laughs> so maybe he was a bit. Sometimes you got to think that. Sometimes the examiner, like say for instance, a student makes a mistake, he might talk, he might even be a bit rude, but he wants you to do good. Yeah, and that's the only reason. Sometimes they come blunt. So uh, everyone has their own personalities. Mm -hmm. Um, like me, um, sometimes I do complain as well. Do you understand? Sometimes yeah. you've got to do that. But obviously you've got to remember they have long days. Like I said before the test, um, they have long days, they've got family, kids, they have tension, there's stuff like that. Yeah. But obviously um, sometimes that plays a part. Um, other than that, did you find any areas of your driving you thought you failed on? Um, just going through that red light. Just through that red light. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was like yellow, but I would think I think because I was already turning that he's gonna like I was like about to go, so I couldn't stop. I was have yeah. been basically in the middle. Blimey. So, so it went red. <laughs> did it go red? <laughs> yeah, it went red as and I was going. <laughs> where were you in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like the, the other side of the road here. I was like there. Did um, you have the Southport Exton route? I got that. Yeah, Southport Exton. And then he took me. So you're in the middle. Um, when you're in the middle, you have to take it. Yeah, you're well, right it was thing. like the top, like the front of the car was a little bit in it. So I just went. I don't know when. Yeah, you done the right thing. Cause I didn't even know it was red. Even if it was red, <laughs> you should yeah. take it because you're in the middle. You're already out. Um, obviously, if you stop there and it turns, it, it must have turned red before you made the turn. When you're coming out of Duxbury, you've got to go. I was in the part where they've got to turn anyway, so I would have had to regardless go. You had to, you had to because oh. you would have become a what? That's why I didn't. Yeah, that's why. I literally said to him though, when I've just failed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, obviously, show the viewers. Um, what you've come out with, yep, you have passed. It is a good achievement, um, you've done well. Um, what minors did you, did you get any... Uh, you didn't tell me, the only Did thing, you not go over your phone? No, thoughts? the only thing he did was, when I'm steering, apparently I keep my hands really close together, instead of having them like that. That's the only thing you mentioned. So you have your steer, you, you steer too close? Yeah, so I, I go like that instead. Yeah, with that, do you know, uh, basically, if, you, if it's too close, then it's restricted Yeah, movement. well, he said that for yeah. indicators that I'm like not being able to go to it as far. Yeah, yeah. So um, your result, um, the faults will come through your email, so mm -hmm. that'll be fine. Um, but it's a very good achievement. You've done well. Um, you should be proud of yourself and go and celebrate. Yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> Even though you've got bad driving. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> so you should still celebrate. Mm -hmm. End of day, you passed, and hopefully, um, you're just going to keep improving on driving because the more you, uh, a lot of learners, well, majority of people, you learn after you start, after you pass, mm -hmm. because the more you, uh, the more you drive, the more experience you gain. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So if this video has benefited you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video.